Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will continue our discussion about the variation. And this time, we will talk about the joint variation. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So last time guys, we had an upload a video about direct variation and inverse variation. At ilalagay natin yung mga links nila sa ating description box para madali nyo mapanood yung videos natin about those topics. So let's have joint variation. Joint variation is when two quantity varies directly as product of two or more quantities. So dito kasi guys, hindi, uh, di ba meron tayong direct variation wherein it is the relationship between two variables same with the inverse. When it comes to joint variation, ang pinagkaiba niya, two or more quantities, uh, ano na to, uh, product of two or more quantities, pero ang involved dito ay three or more na. Okay, and we can say na joint variation is, the comb is a combination of two direct variations. Okay, so here, this is the general formula for the joint variation. We have y is equal to kxz. Again, your k here is still the constant of variation and your x, y, and z are the variables or the quantities na meron relationship sa isa't isa. So we have here two um, phrases that can be converted as y is equal to k equals z. First, we have y varies jointly as x and z. This statement can be translated as y is equal to kxz, meaning this one implies a joint variation. Another thing is y is jointly proportional to x and z. So kung mag-translate ka, ang pattern ko dito, may pattern here is you will focus here for the first variable na mention yun yung naka-isolate and then yung varies jointly as x and z sila yung ngayon yung kasama ng ating constant of variation okay so here are examples of joint variation and this is the general formula now for you to understand well what is joint variation i have here two problems for us to solve first problem Find the equation of the variation where A varies jointly as B and C. So we have here three variables or three quantities which is A, B, and C. And they varies, joint, uh, varies jointly. So joint variation tayo. Again, find the equation of variation where A varies jointly as B and C. And A is equal to 36 when B is equal to 3 and C is equal to 4. So our target here, guys, is to find only um, the equation of variation. We're in first. We need to uh, we need to find first the value of k. So to translate this into joint variation, we will, we can translate this as a is equal to k b c because we have a varies jointly as b and c. So now when we mention c a followed by B and C, that's why this is our equation. Now, to find our concept of variation, we need to use A is equal to 36, your B is equal to 3, your C is equal to 4. Kasi kailangan natin makuha, magamit yung tatlong variables ito para mahanap si constant of variation. We will substitute 36, this is 36, is equal to K, times your B, which is 3, 4, which is your C, which is 4, and simplify this. You have 36 is equal to 12k. And to, sum, to simplify this equation and to finally find the value of k, divide both sides by 12, cancel, cancel, your k is equal to 3. And to ngayon yung ating constant of variation. Now, after finding out the value of k or the constant of variation, go back to this equation. We will replace k by 3, and it will, this will be the answer. a is equal to 3, b, c. This is now the equation of variation na hinanap natin. Again, our step is to translate first 
a values jointly as b and c and use the three variables given to find your constant of variation and after finding out the constant of variation you will go back to this equation and replace your k and the answer is a is equal to t b c so let's continue guys z varies jointly as x and y so we have three variables or three quantities which is z x and y if z is equal to 6, 60 when x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 6 find z when x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 6. So, ang pinapanap sa natin ngayon dito guys is to find z. But first, ito yung step natin again. First step is to break down. Break down muna natin. Break down ito. For the first part of our, for the first part, z varies jointly as x and z, x and y. So, it can be translated as z is equal to k x y. Okay? z is equal to k x y. And, after natin translate to, we need to find the constant of variation simply by using this example, these values z, x, and y. Your z is equal to 60. Your y is equal to 6. Your x is equal to 5. We will substitute all these values to the given equation. We have here 60 is equal to k times 5, which is your x, then times 6, which is your y. Simplifying this, this will give us 60 is equal to 30 k. And what will happen here is you will divide both sides of the equation by 30. A purpose nito ay para mawala yung 30 dito and then magkakaroon na lang tayo ng k. Cancel, cancel, your k now is equal to 2. Ito yung constant of variation natin. And after finding out the constant of variation, you will go back with the original equation. You will substitute 2 to k and it will give you this. We have z is equal to 2xy. Para masolve natin to, find z when x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 6. Okay? We can find z because your x is equal to 7, your y is equal to 6. We will replace x and y here. It will give us z is equal to 2 times 7 times 6. And simplifying this, it will give us z is equal to 2 times 7 is 14 times 6, okay, this will give us the answer of 84 again, the answer is 84. This is the value of z for item number 2. Now, I hope guys that you learned something from this video on how to solve joint variation problems. We know that this is your general formula for the joint variation and these statements can be translated to this and I hope na alam na rin kung paano mo translate maghanap ng constant of variation as well as the missing variable in a variation. So in the next part of our video, I'll be uploading a video about solving word problems for joint variation and we will continue it until combined variation. So if you have any question or any suggested topic that you wanted to discuss, feel free to comment down below. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me to Shurgon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!